let me to know not all visas or people that come here would actually have that opportunity to apply for a resident permit in turkey so which visa do you need in order to apply for a Turkish resident permit hello guys you're much welcome back again to our youtube channel this is lydia labella and in today's video i am here with mr kepsi a business consultant and an educational advisor so guys in today's video we have a lot to talk about we promise you guys that we are going to come back to talk about Turkish wisdom permits for foreigners so stay tuned and make sure you watch this video to the end because at the end of this video we are going to be giving you guys some tips and some important information about scholarship in Turkey so guys Let's go to Mr. Kepsi. You're much welcome back again, Mr. Kepsi, to our channel. It's a pleasure having you here again. So, what do you want to say for our viewers out there? Hello, viewers all over the world. Thank you very much. This is my second time to be in Lydia Labelle TV show platform. So, I hope that you guys are going to get a lot of information. So, stay tuned. Okay, guys. You guys know our platform is all about education now. So in today's video we are going to be talking about turkish western permits for foreigners how to apply and different things that you will need to understand when it comes to turkish western permit so guys we have a lot of questions here for mr kepsin he's good indeed so that's why i keep bringing him here to educate my viewers i have gotten a lot of questions into my inbox to talk about this western permit issue so that is why we are here so the first question i have here for mr kepsin who are those eligible to apply for a western permit in turkey i think everybody is eligible to apply for a resident permit in turkey uh, so uh, if you come from uh, let's say all the continents in the world and you uh, you want to visit turkey for your first time and when while you're here and you want to extend your stay so you have to apply for a resident permit so there is no like uh, uh, let's say uh, there's, a, there's no law that say this person is forbidden from applying for resident permit except that you 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 you, were, you came here before and uh, you had some issue whereby uh, you overstayed and you didn't want to pay for your penalty and they ban you from coming here for five years so there are these are the people that cannot come to turkey kind of okay guys so you are listening from the horse's mouth mm -hmm. so everybody's eligible to apply for a Turkish resident permit so far as you came in here legally so mr kevson which visa requires a Turkish resident permit you know not all visas or people that come here would actually have that opportunity to apply for a resident permit in turkey so which visa do you need in order to apply for a Turkish resident permit well, uh, I think uh, as, as a student, if you're coming here as a student, you need a student a resident, uh, let's say a student resident permit, but first a visa, you need a visa. And after that, uh, you also need a, a business uh, visa to come to Turkey, then they can issue you a residency. And also you need, a, a, let's say, a sport visa. Uh, that is, if you are a footballer in your country and you are registered in the in your country football federation and you have a team there and the team in Turkey invites you, there is a process where two agents are going to speak with it. That's, the both agents are going to speak with the teams. And then when you come here like a footballer, then the, you have the right to apply for a resident permit. Um, also, medical reasons. If you come here with a visa for medical reason, health reason, then you have the right to apply for a residency. So, as I said, student visa, business visa, sport visa, particularly a football team inviting you in Turkey to come and play football. And thirdly, you have health reason, medical reason. That is, you have you are you are ill. You can apply for a resident permit. And finally, maybe uh, we can use tourism, but recently there they have been some issue now that they don't give resident permit for tourism. They might give it out of 10, maybe one or two person can get it, but not in Istanbul. So you have to really find out more information, maybe at the end of this, uh, 
our uh, talk maybe at the end Vidija can give a link where you can find out more questions about how can I get a tourism resident permit which is not given in Istanbul but we can give you more information about it okay so it means there are also some visas that if you use it to come to Turkey they won't give you a Turkish resident permit yeah I think something like conference visa that if you come with a conference visa I don't I don't think that you have a resident permit wow and so guys you listen very well when coming to Turkey make sure you don't take a conference visa especially when you're coming to stay you know most of us in africa we use different visas to come here to make even a year two years so if you come here with a conference visa you won't be given a Turkish resident permit so after your visa expires you go back even before it expires so in the next question i will have here is when when you are here and you apply for the Turkish resident permit and it is issued to you uh, is it good to extend it like uh, the Turkish resident permit? Can you extend it? Yes, you have the right to extend your stay in any country that you live. It depends uh, about the, the country's uh, immigration law. For example, if you are in Turkey and you have a resident permit, I think they give you for six one six months or one year depends about the condition. Some even two yeah, years. Some even two years. And uh, if you want to extend it, yes, you can extend it. You have the right to extend it. All is that you have to back up the reason why you want to stay more in the country. So there are some documentation that you need to prove that uh, requires you to to extend your uh, resident permit. Okay. So after you have gotten that visa, for example, you came here as a student and you want to apply for a Turkish resident permit. Is it good to do it by yourself? or like personally or you take an advice from an agent or just go directly pay the money to an agent for him or how to do it for you yeah uh i would advise many people that is if you came here for the first time like a student uh, visa or uh, business visa uh sport visa medical visa, i i advise you to seek a, an agent somebody who knows how to do it because you might not know the process you might make a mistake so so I will advise you people to seek an agent for the first time. Okay, maybe for the renewal, then you can do it yourself. But some people prefer to go through professionals so that, because they know about the, 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 the laws and they know the tricks, they know everything, how to uh, apply and how to extend your resident permit. So I will advise you to seek an agent for the first time. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Kepsin. Sorry for bothering with too much question. It's because my fans out there are actually asking me, Lydia, how can we get a Turkish resident permit? Lydia, if we come to Turkey, can we be there legally for a year? So that is why I keep bringing Mr. Kepsin to our platform to educate us more because he's good in it. As I earlier told you, he's an educational consultant and a uh, and an educational business, advisor, business, advice, business okay. consultant, educational advisor, and yeah, both so, of them is okay. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, now he earlier mentioned that if you like now, we're still in Turkey, tourist visa, uh, resident permits are being rejected. So, if you up, if you come here with a tourist visa and you apply for a Turkish resident permit and it is rejected, can you appeal for it? Well, I would not like to insist more on tourism uh, resident permit uh, I would like to take like business uh, visa and you apply for a business resident permit and it, it's been rejected so when it's been rejected uh, some people don't know if it has been accepted or it has been rejected but if you find other it has been rejected you have to go to the immigration center where you had an appointment they will give you a paper of uh, rejection and there they will state the reason why they rejected your uh, resident permit application and they also say you have the right to apply then yes you have the right to apply but you have to seek for a lawyer uh, a legal lawyer who is going to process your document maybe he will give you from the court they will issue you a paper of exemption I think it's for almost a month or one and a half month where you can circulate freely while they are processing your documentation for you to obtain your resident permit. many people don't know that when they are rejected, you just say, okay, that's it for me. I have to go back to my country. But if some people legally go back to their country to take another visa to come back, it's good. But if you find that it's difficult for you to go back, then you have to use this process where you seek a lawyer and the lawyer will now go to court. They will give you a paper of exemption whereby you can circulate free for one and a half month. Meanwhile, within that period, they are trying to find out a way where they can now reconsider your residence. Okay. 
Thank you so much. So okay. then I have another question here. Uh, what can you do to know your status of your resident permit application? Well, uh, there is a number. They call the number is uh, 157. 157. When you apply for your resident permit, okay, and you want to know the status, you just call 157. It's a free line. You call immigration line and they will ask you about your passport information like name, son name, mother's name, father's name, all these kind of things. And then they will tell you where your status is now. So they will tell you exactly. Many people don't know. I, I recently heard a guy who told me, I, I applied for my uh, resident permit, but I, I don't know. It's almost a month and a half. And I don't know about my status. And the guy didn't know. I, I told him, call 157. And he called and uh, the guy got all the necessary information that he wanted. So please call 157 if you don't know the status of your resident. If it has stayed for long and you, have, you haven't heard about uh, anything from like they always send you a, a message through your phone that your document has been approved first then and uh, when they send that message after think two three weeks later you have your card that is true that you're saying through the post office the neighborhood where you live ah uh, okay okay mm -hmm. thank you well understood guys yeah. i hope you guys are taking notes guys because it's a very important information a slight mistake in date can make your resident permit be rejected so uh mr kepstein i want to ask what are the documents required in order to make a resident permit in Turkey for foreigners? Well, the documents are like, for example, uh, if, let's take it according to the visa because it, 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 it differentiates according to visa. Okay. Uh, so, if, let's say a student's visa, that one is the school themselves will offer you all the documents you need to because sometimes the school will process your student resident permit, not you, because they have a connection with an agent who will do that. So you don't worry about that one. So secondly, uh, for those who come with business visa, I think uh, generally you need a house contract. You must look for a house. And that house, it must be registered maybe in the, in the population department. That is there in the, the district where you live. There is, a, there is a municipality that you have to register. Secondly, um, most people, you need something like uh, a bank account. If you can have it, no problem for the first time. And then uh, you have to, those documents are just be very easy for you to obtain. And because I said your house contract, which is very, very important, you need health insurance. Okay. And you have those two things, I think then you can go and apply. But seek uh, an agent first. Don't go yourself because you might make a mistake. Wow. Okay, guys. Uh, and a little bit of, uh, let me add a little bit for student. So, for example, when I came into Turkey as a student and I wanted to obtain my resident permit, what I did is I went to my school. My school had to register me first, make sure they register you. So they will give you a paper, like a form, like, you know, after that, now you have to go and pay for your tax. Don't forget, paying tax in Turkey is very important concerning your Turkish resident permit. It's very, very important. Okay, that's what I wanted to mention, tax. Thank you so much, Mr. Kepsin, for all this information that you are giving out to my people for free. This is information that some people pay to get. And I'm bringing out here, I'm even bringing in people to this channel to talk about it. So if you like this video, please don't forget to share out this video. Share it to your family, share it to your friends. And for any person interested to come to Turkey, don't forget to contact me, especially when you're in Cameroon for now because I don't do other countries you know I'm from Cameroon and I can't do anything concerning Nigeria, Kenya, Uganda you know even though I have a lot of people contacting me from there so thank you so much Mr. Kepsin and okay. guys I want I want to add something for you guys uh, Mr. Kepsin can we talk about work visa or next time? I think uh, that will be the next the, video. The work, uh, work permit. Yeah, that work will be the next video. Okay. Uh, because okay. There, there are so many things to talk about at one because uh, people don't know much about work uh, permit. The work permit in Turkey. Uh, if you want to have a work permit in Turkey while you're in Cameroon, you have to first, you have to get a, a contract, a work contract signed by the employer. So, so I think uh, the Lydia TV show is going to uh, prepare a part two. Of this video where we can talk more about uh, the different type of work permit in in turkey okay so guys you have all listened from the horse's mouth so stay tuned don't forget to watch our next video and an additional tip as i was saying at the beginning of the video we want to put a little thing here about scholarship so mr kepsi what do you have to say about 
scholarship in Turkey? Right, Turkish uh, scholarship 2023. Uh, the Turkish scholarship, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 2023 has been launched. So uh, I just want to encourage many people, mostly in Africa, who don't know about this. So I think uh, at the end of this uh, video, I think there's a link there that the Lydia TV show is going to share. And you guys, if you need more questions, okay, she's going to direct you to uh, uh, people who are specialized for this. So it's like it's a great opportunity for you to apply for this scholarship, mostly people in Africa and all over the world. Okay, guys, so don't forget to contact me if you need a scholarship here in Turkey. Please, for now, the deadline of this particular month is very close. It's ending at the 10th or 20th of February, like that. So for this particular first semester, like so? Yeah, the, the scholarship, uh, normally it's about uh, undergraduate and postgraduate. You have, you have bachelor's degree, master's and PhD. So they have different dates. But I think that uh, the 20th of February is the last date where they will close the application online. So uh, for more information, as I said, uh, you, there is a link at the end of this uh, of this uh, live TV show where you can click and you get more information. And she has a WhatsApp page whereby you can ask more questions on that. So hurry up for those in Africa. It's a great opportunity because when you have a scholarship, you are being sponsored by the Turkish government from your country to here. And if you want to go back, they're going to take care of your flight ticket. Wow. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. We have come to the end of our program or our broadcast. And please, as I earlier said, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Lydia TV Show. And if you are following us on our Facebook page, Lydia Sparkles, or Instagram, don't forget to follow us there. Make sure you share out this video. Thank you so much. See you guys again in our next video concerning work permit in Turkey. Ciao, ciao. Bye.